I moved from California to New Orleans about seven years ago, and I miss all of the smells and all of the sounds of my family's kitchen, but making recipes that my family used to make, recreating them in my own kitchen, reimagine, is like my little way of bridging that gap between California and New Orleans, because this is the smell of my dad's kitchen. Hi there, I'm Joy Wilson. I'm a baker, a cookbook author. I have been taking pictures of food and writing recipes for the internet as Joy the Baker since 2008. Today I'm making a classic New Orleans recipe, bourbon bananas foster with cereal crunch. This recipe is a little twist and inspiration from a breakfast that my dad used to make me. We're pairing this dish with a coffee Manhattan, which is just a little bit of a breakfasty twist to my favorite bourbon cocktail. So we're gonna get started on this banana foster by first making the cereal crunch. I have the oven preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this bowl, I have about a cup and a half of breakfast cereal. My favorite is Honey Bunches of Oats because it has the little oat bits, the corn bits. You just want a variety of shapes. I have a tablespoon of brown sugar, a little bit of salt. This is half a teaspoon of salt just for balance, to balance out the sweetness. And then our binder is this melted butter. Just pour that in. You just wanna make sure that every bit of cereal is well coated in butter. And then here I have a quarter sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Just gonna to toss our cereal crunch on the parchment paper. Level it out to an even layer and we'll throw this in the oven to bake and brown for 20 to 22 minutes. You'll know it's done when it smells completely irresistible. All right, so here's my cereal crunch. It's nice and toasty. I'm gonna set it aside on a trivet here and this is gonna cool for about 20 minutes or so while I assemble the bananas foster. So we have two bananas here for our bananas foster. I'm gonna peel these, cut these in half, Easy enough. The first time I had a Bananas Foster is at this old school French Quarter restaurant here in New Orleans called Brennan's. And when you order a Bananas Foster at Brennan's, they bring out a whole dessert cart because they make your dessert right in front of you in the dining room. And they saute butter and brown sugar, cook the bananas in it, and the smell, it invades the entire dining room and it's amazing. When you order it, you make everyone jealous. But when I ordered it for the first time, that smell of brown sugar and butter and bananas cooking reminded me instantly of a breakfast that my dad used to make. He used to simmer butter and brown sugar and bananas and put it over our cold cereal. So this dish is my version of a banana foster reimagined. So I'm cutting my bananas in half lengthwise. So we have two nice little banana halves. I have brown sugar, a little bit of unsalted butter, cinnamon, banana liqueur, and just a pinch of salt. So the last thing is two tablespoons of Maker's Mark 46. Just measure this out. two tablespoons, and we'll head over to the stovetop to get our sauce going. I have a saucepan here over low, medium, low heat. I'm going to add a little bit of butter and some brown sugar. I'll add a little bit of ground cinnamon and a pinch of salt. <laughs> the trick to making a good caramel is you do have to leave it alone. Just, just let it melt, the sugar will melt, the butter will melt, and it'll start to come together. All right, so to this caramel, I'm going to add a little bit of banana liqueur. We just want to intensify that banana flavor before we cook the bananas. So that'll bubble and cook down just a little bit, and I'm gonna add my banana slices. Add them cut side down into this caramel. Let the bananas cook down and soften for about four to six minutes. And I'm just gonna hang out here and shuffle this pan around until the bananas are nice and soft.
Cool. Just hang out. All right, so our bananas are nice and soft. The caramel is absolutely luscious. And now it's time to add our finisher. Now, Bananas Foster is usually finished with rum, but today we're adding Maker's Mark 46. Maker's 46 is a reimagined twist on their classic recipe, and it's finished with French oak staves, so we have notes of vanilla, notes of caramel, lots of baking spices, things that are perfect additions to this Bananas Foster. So now we're gonna flambe this. We're gonna set it on fire, but we wanna be careful. So grab your pan, bring it off the heat, we're gonna add our Maker's 46. A little shake and tilt it away from yourself. Oop. Just set it on fire. I turn off the heat and we're just gonna let the alcohol cook down. When the alcohol cooks down, the flame will be gone. Before I plate up the Bananas Foster, I'm gonna make the coffee Manhattan. So. I have a mixing glass here. I'm gonna start with two parts of Maker's Mark 46. I have half a part of coffee liqueur, half part of Amaro, and two dashes of bitters. I'm gonna fill the glass with ice. We'll stir it till it's nice and chilled. All right, I'm gonna grab a chilled coupe glass from the freezer. My chilled glass. Strainer on top, and we'll just strain it in. We'll finish the cocktail with a little spritz of orange zest, rub it around the glass, and a Luxardo cherry too. There we go. All right, so we have our cocktail. Now let's plate up the Bananas Foster. All right, it's time for the best part. We get to taste our Bananas Foster. Okay, the best bite is a little bit of everything. Mm. Oh my gosh, that banana is caramelized perfectly and it brings out all of the natural sweetness. In the caramel sauce, you have notes of vanilla, notes of cinnamon, that baking spice from the Maker's Mark 46. The cereal crunch is a little bit salty pairs really nicely with the creamy ice cream. It's like hot and cold, it's everything you ever want. And this Coffee Manhattan will pair perfectly with the Bananas Fosters. I feel like the vanilla notes and the baking spice notes will really be nice with this caramel. I hope you make this. I hope you love this Bananas Foster, friends. Cheers to you.